generally I'm not an emotional person. Generally, I don't like wearing my heart on my sleeve for you guys because I just don't feel that it's right and this type of deep and meaningful stuff isn't the type of stuff that I want this channel to be about. But it is something that I feel we have to talk about. And that thing that we have to talk about is what people think of me, my um, what people's opinions are of a person who's totally blind and what labels they put on me because I'm completely blind. And as my best friend said, as people put these labels on me because they don't understand what it's like to be in my shoes and to live my life. Um, and they say these things because that's how they feel about my disability, which is something that I have never called a disability. I have never ever said that my lack of eyesight is a negative thing. I've never said that it's a disability. Um, it's always been a different ability or something like that. But lately I've just found out that there is so much negative, um, there is so much negative talk about, about blindness or low vision that it, it has just been getting, getting on my mind lately. And, you know, on, um, during this week, as you saw, I had the opportunity to read some Bible verses at a church service and, you know, when, when people come up to you after a church service and say to you, oh, I didn't expect that you would be able to read or something of that nature, it just really hits home that people, people don't understand my, my vision loss. And that is why I'm here, that is why I make videos, is because people don't understand my vision loss and I want you to understand it because, because of all the negative stimulus that is out there, uh, because people don't think that I can do the things that I can do. That is why I'm here. I wanna show you that I, I have no eyesight, but that to me is no different. You drive a car, I drive a guide dog. You read print, I read braille. You look at your phone screen, I listen to a voice reading my phone screen. That to me is no different. So what I wanted to say to you guys and what I wanted to talk about is I don't want to be seen as an inspiration. I don't want you to turn around to me and say, wow, that's amazing that you just got on a bus with your dog and, um, and went into town. I don't want you to look at the fact that I live independently. I get up, I get dressed, I look after my animals as an inspirational, amazing thing because it, it isn't. What I do is exactly the same as what you do, but I just do it slightly differently because I have to. People um, have said to me in the past, oh, you're Christian. Do you expect, you know, do you, do you want God to, to restore your eyesight? Do you, do you pray for, for full vision in the future? Do you, do you want Jesus to be heal, healing you from your vision loss? My answer to that is no. You know, I, I'm not a Christian because I want my eyesight back. I, I do not want my eyesight ever back. 
And that isn't because I want to be an inspiration to you. I just don't want it because I don't think I could handle it. I'm not used to it. I I don't think I don't think being sighted I would be able to be the person I am because I think that being blind has had its advantages. I think it's helped me grow up. I think it's helped me be more independent. I think it's helped me gain an understanding of the world that I possibly would not have at my age if I could see. I'm not saying that people of my age don't understand the world. There are some very worldly 26 year olds out there, but for me, where I'm at in my life at the moment, I feel that my blindness is such an advantage to my maturity, to my lifestyle, and I don't want, I don't want to be an inspiration. I, I want to be an educator. I don't, I don't want it to be about, oh my gosh, you can do this kind of stuff. I want it to be about, oh, okay, so you do that, but how? I don't want it to be, oh, poor blind Melanie has to, you know, has to get around with a guide dog. I want it to be, oh, well, it's really nice that you've got your dog to help you. You know, I don't want it to be, oh my gosh, that's incredible that you, that you look after your own house and stuff like that. I want it to be, okay, well, I don't have any eyesight myself, so give me some tips on how to do that. My blindness for me is not a disability, but lately I've felt like it is a disadvantage because of the attitudes of the people around me. I've felt like it's a disability because people, society, aren't educated enough about blindness or low vision to understand that for us, it isn't a disability, it's not a disadvantage. Um, it is what it is and we have techniques and strategies for getting around it. My low vision does mean that, yeah, it's more difficult for me to, to get a job and maintain it. My low vision does mean that instead of having a job and having a stable income from a job, I have to have a disability pension or I wouldn't be able to afford to live. My blindness does mean that I can't just hop in a car and drive somewhere. I have to meticulously plan a journey anywhere down to whether I get a taxi, whether I walk, is it raining? Do I need to put a raincoat on my guide dog? Is it too hot? Do I need to take a cane instead of my dog because it's too hot? It does mean that, but it does not mean that I am useless. It does not mean that I'm an inspiration. And it certainly, to me, does not mean that I'm miserable or lonely or disadvantaged because of my blindness. I feel that I'm blind to educate other people who may not have the ability to access the resources that I've been able to access in my life. I believe that I'm blind so that I can share the beauty of the world without eyesight. Because to me, the world is still beautiful. I can't see the colors of the rainbow or the flowers in springtime, but I can feel the texture of, of my horse when she's all shiny after a big brush and how smooth it is when her coat's so clean. I can smell the delights of, of pizza fresh out of the oven. I can hear the birds in the trees and the waves in the ocean when I'm on the cruises that I go on so passionately. You know, 
I have so many other ways of enjoying the beauty of the world, that the beauty of the world is not about eyesight to me. My, my world is still beautiful. My world is still as interesting and intricate and lovely as yours is, but it's just different. And that's what I want you guys to, to understand. If that's the one thing, the only thing that I teach you in my several hundred videos here on YouTube and my 20 odd minute rantings every week at you is I want to teach you that my world is still beautiful, that I'm not disadvantaged and that my vision is not a disability that it's a different ability it's a different way to see things so moving forward from this video I think what I want to say is instead of asking me straight out oh I didn't know you could read say oh how did you how did you do that I didn't you know obviously you can't read straight out of the print Bible. So how did you look at your Bible? Or, oh, I didn't actually think that, that a blind person could live on their own. Say, so what strategies do you have to manage your wardrobe independently? I want it to be about the positive things to do with my blindness, not the negative. Anyway, that's just my take on it. Um, I hope that that helps. I hope it wasn't too negative. And I really hope that no one's offended or anything by this, but it just had to be said. And my best friend, Jen, you know who you are. Thank you. Because if it wasn't for you, love, I wouldn't have done this. Um, and I wouldn't have had the strength to say it. It's stuff that, as I said, I don't want to say because I don't want to get all emotional and silly on YouTube and personal and deep and meaningful, but I think it got to the stage where it had to be said. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Um, thank you all for your support as well, for your awesome questions that you submitted to me for the Q&A video, which I have recorded. I just need to edit that and get it uploaded. So hopefully it'll be done in the next little while. Um, and as I said, just thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all for your subscriptions. We're at 249 subscribers now. So fingers crossed we get to 250, 300, you know, in the next little while. Please keep subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, uh, liking my videos, commenting if you've got any questions or anything you wanna say, and uh, share, share my channel with your friends and family. Go ahead and like me on Instagram at Mel's Blind Life, on Facebook at Mel's Blind Life, both linked in the description down below. Um, go check out my Blind Equestrian playlist, which is also linked in the description down below where you'll find all of your horsey related videos and just have a really good day with positive outlook on life and positive blindness. And uh, just remember that I'm not suffering from sight loss. I'm embracing my blindness. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.